Hello, Giovanni. Hello, Haiti. Can you hear me? Uh, your microphone is off. Maybe your microphone is off. Does it work? Or are you having problems? Good evening. Good evening, Jerry. Welcome. Thank you. Um, welcome, Janet. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Sure. How are you? I sorry. <laughs> Qué chistoso, no me puse los auriculares. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Good, good. Uh, we missed you yesterday, but we're happy that you're with us. Today. I know. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I I worked. Worked. You worked. Oh wow! You you worked until very late. Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. Por, Good evening, Marvin. Por el cierre de mes, entonces. Oh. Start to hear that. Um. Okay. Yeah. So every month, every end of the month, you always have the same problem. Yes. Every month. Okay. What time did you finish? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. What time did you finish? At ten thirty p.m. Um, guys, just give me one second, okay? I'll be right back, okay? Just give me one second. Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay, I'm back. Um, so you finished at 1030, Janet. Wow, that's late. Yeah. And you got home? What time? Um, repeat, please. At uh, what time did you get home? Mm, mm, 11. Ah, uh, yeah, very late. Well, I'll, at least uh, that's um, finished, right? Until the, the next end of the month. <laughs> you know how to do All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome um, to you all. Um, hope your day has been good. Everybody had a good day at work? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, very, very good. Okay, well, we are going to begin as usual by taking our attendance. Um, okay, we'll start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. In a review of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, hold on, give me a moment. My, it just moved. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Got it now. All right. Uh, and the Giovanni? Present, teacher. All right. Excellent. Uh, Edgar? No? Okay. Uh, Janet? Present, teacher. Wonderful. And uh, Fabiola? Present, teacher. All right. Excellent. Haiti. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Irene? Irene? No. Okay, um, Ivan? 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 No, okay. Uh, Johnny? Johnny? No. Uh, Josue Alberto? Uh, Juan Francisco. All right, welcome. Jury. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Carla. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Melissa. Melissa? No? Okay. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Welcome, Manuel. Marvin? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Wendy. Wendy? No. All right, Werner? Werner, no, no Werner. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Right, welcome. Thank you. Francisco, no. And Jenny. No? Jenny, no? Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to repeat. Uh, I didn't hear Edgar, Irene, Ivan. Johnny, Josue, Melissa. Oh, Josue, okay. Well, yeah. okay. All right, uh, I didn't hear Melissa, uh, Wendy, Warner. Present teacher, good evening. Oh, okay, welcome Warner. Uh, Francisco, Javier and Jenny. All right, good. Okay, guys, well, welcome to today's class. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good? Yes, no, not really? Good, very good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, um, well, guys, um, today, we are going to begin by looking at um, our PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, wonderful. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we are looking at um, today. Well, the module is beginner module six. It's unit two. Um, we're looking at staff and schedule as our um, the topic for unit two. Okay. Um, and today is Tuesday, June first. So welcome to. Um, the sixth month of the year, right? It's 
gone, this year has gone by so quickly. Um, can you imagine this already? We're, we're in the, we're halfway um, during the year, right? So it's already June 1st. It's day number seven and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so first of all, this is, um, this is your turn. This is something that we did um, yesterday and I told you guys that we were gonna, we were gonna be presenting in class today. So it says, um, think about what, re what uh, a regular day at your workplace is like. Okay, so, you know, not a special day, just, you know, any given day. And you're gonna use simple present to, to tell the activities you and your colleagues do, present your conversation to the class. So this is the part we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be presenting the conversation to the whole class, okay? Sounds good? All right. So this is something you already prepared yesterday. This is not nothing new, okay? This is what you were talking about with your classmates yesterday. Um, yesterday, remember that I, get, I got you to work in, in breakout rooms with a partner and you were going to tell your partner about uh, the what you did in a regular day at workplace, at your workplace, you know, um, if it was normally busy and what activities to do. So this is, you don't, you don't have to worry, you don't have to feel nervous. This is exactly what we did yesterday. Okay. All right. So, um, so let's start. All right. Um, well, yeah, last class, we um, we started, well, we, we did the, the presentations of the class um, in the alphabetical order of the list. So we're gonna continue doing that, except that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from from like the last to the to the first. Okay? All right, so I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. I am sure you do. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with Jenny. Jenny, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, okay. Jenny. Okay. Uh, uh, in my work, I bring my report to my boss weekly. My boss explains that work play every month. My co-worker eats lunch 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. All and the employees turn off their computer at 4 p.m. My co-worker arrives at 8.05 a.m. Okay, very good, Jenny. Excellent. Bravo. Okay, Jenny, what time does your do your co workers uh, or does your co worker arrive to work? Five, a, a five, okay. five minutes, okay. five minutes late, uh, later. <laughs> okay, okay, so you so they're supposed to start at eight, but they start at eight oh five. A O five. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, great. Thank you very much, uh, Jenny. Okay, the next one would be uh, Francisco. Francisco Aviet is not here, I guess. No. Oh, he just joined. Okay. Hello, Francisco Aviet. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Good, actually, Good, I'm pretty good. Um, good. Actually, uh, Francisco, you have joined right on time. Uh, because, okay. uh, yes, the thing <laughs> just is, on time. Yeah, just on time. Because right now we are uh, sharing um, the information. Remember that yesterday, we work with the partner to talk about um, what was a regular day at work like, at 
remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told you that you were going to be presenting that information in class today in front of the class, right? Do you remember? Yep. Okay, wonderful. And what we're doing is we're starting, we're, we're going, we're, we're following the list, but we're going from, from the bottom to the top. And so that means that you would be next, Francisco. So are you ready with the information? Me? Okay. <laughs> Ready when you are. Okay. Um, well, in some, in a regular day, in a case, um, some days I need to contract uh, some freelancer to make um, some jobs like uh, web design, uh, check on server uh, remotely. And other uh, times, um, it's a normal day in the office, like check emails, um, require some program, application, or software. Uh, okay. Um, in other times, um, when I worked in the home in house, my home. Okay. Um, uh, regularly, I have a checklist to do. Okay, um, it's not a norm, it's, it's not a, it's not a, okay, no es una, no es una, como una lista muy rígida. Ya, yeah, um, pero son tareas que, que regularmente se van evacuando de, de diferente forma. A veces, eh, and sometimes I need to, um go to the to visit our clients and check the country with this or um, things like this okay okay so so what are the scheduled activities uh schedules wow well, when i work from home is the schedule activities Okay, um, normally I begin, I begin at 8 a.m. and check the emails, uh, what, uh, como primera cosa, okay, como primera actividad. <clears throat> uh, then I call some clients to uh, review uh, the, uh, uh, necesidades de ellos. ¿Cómo se dice necesidades? Necessities. Necessities, ok. Uh, como sus eh, um, uh, las requisitos, ¿no? De, 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 de lo que necesitan básicamente que nosotros hagamos o cosas así. Ok. Thing like this. Ok. So, the, what, what their needs are. Okay. Sorry? Are, what their needs are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Francisco. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go on to the next person. The next person is Yvonne. Okay. Um, uh, I start work from uh, 10 to 7 in the morning. Uh, I arrive at work at uh, 6 past uh, 20. Uh, the first activity that I have to do is uh, check my uh, my agenda from the activities that I have to do uh, in every day. Uh, I I have to 
uh, do many reports, many dashboards that I have to uh, uh, that I have to send uh, in the morning. Uh, I have to uh, do many uh, out audits to new projects in the production floor. Um, and um, uh, I have to, uh, I don't know, have, have to say, uh, uh, reservar uh, salas. Uh, like what kind, like a rooms? Uh, for meetings? For meetings, okay, so, um... So meeting rooms, so you have to book meeting rooms. Uh, I have to book uh, meeting rooms for uh, uh, every meeting of the department. Uh, I have to check uh, all the, the reports of the, of the goals of the plan. Um, and I have to make the summary uh, of the every every goal and send the report to all of the bosses in the plant and I finish uh, to work at four past 25 in the afternoon four the past 25. Yeah, four past 25. Remember, we have to switch it, Yvonne. Okay. So it's not four past 25, it's switch it. First the minutes, then the hours. Not 25 past four. There you go, very good, excellent. Okay, very, very good. Okay, also um, it's, uh, we pronounce it summary. Sa, sa. Sum summary. summary. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're talking about, when you say the plant, you're talking about like the la planta? Yes. Okay, in that case, it would be the floor. Okay, the boss mm. floor. Okay. okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, Yvonne, bravo, Thank very you. good. Okay, all right, let's uh, move on to the next one on my list is, let me see, the next one on my list is Warner. Okay, so, so. Uh, Warner, we can barely hear you, at least, or at least I can't hear you very well. I don't know if it's just me. Can you guys hear him well? Yes, uh, teacher. Not teacher. Oh, okay. ah, okay. Yes, yes. Now it's better. Yes, wonderful. Okay, go for it. Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, I go to work uh, at uh, 12 p.m. and uh, leave it at 8 p.m. Today was a busy days. I have to deliver delivers the monthly reports of my fencers to my boss at 3 p.m. Uh, then I must uh, explain the word the the we must carry out why my students 20 minutes hours uh, were up five of uh, a straight teaching after 10 minutes of uh, general reactions also 24 minutes of special speed uh, 20 of special strengths then we do 45 minutes at work in the in uh, pyres in the technique tactic uh, part uh, 10 minutes uh, of 
distance in um, Pyrus to finish uh, fighting at the stadium for uh, one or one Horus uh, and uh, one Horus of the free uh, the free fighters. Uh, 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 for finalists is uh, the 10 uh, 20 minutes uh, of the strength and the recovery and I I the chat the works the 20 students uh, only that teacher Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much, Werner. Excellent. Okay, just um, going over a little bit some vocabulary. Um, so it, remember, it's not a special, it's just special. 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 So special. not a special, it's a special. Okay, teacher. Okay. Special. Mm -hmm. And reaction. Reaction. Yes. The stretch reaction. is on the A. Ah. Reaction. Reaction. Action. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And it's minute. M minute. Yes. Minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other one is hour. Hour. One hour. Okay, yeah. teacher. Sorry. No, not one hours, just one hour because it's all it's singular. So hours. One. One okay. hour. Uh, hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, great, excellent. Very, very good. Very good, Warner. Okay, um, bravo, excellent. Okay, let's move on to Wendy. Is Wendy here? Oh, I can't see Wendy. No, no, I can't see Wendy. Okay, all right, we're gonna move on to Marvin. Hello. Uh, okay, teacher. One of the first tasks in my job is to receive a shift. Uh, after I read the emails, uh, then I do the maintenance that is scheduled according to calendar. Uh, the after review the audit audit external auditorium and review the ampos and fill up the bitacora and it is it is all in a regular day okay you have to fill in what did you say bitacora no, I okay. don't know say in English. You don't know how to say it in English? Anybody know how to say it in English? Journal, maybe. Sorry? Journal. Mm, yeah, it, it could, but the best word uh, would probably be a log. Log. L-O-G. Log, a log. Log, log. Fill. Fill out a log. Fill out. Oh. A okay. log. L -O like logging a call? Yeah, but that's a verb. That, that would be a verb. In this case, this is a noun, a log. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll read it chat. Hello, is a. Um... Es como un registro de actividades. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, got it? Yeah. Okay, well, very good. Thank you very much. Anytime. Um, okay, let's, uh, be, let's continue then. Very good, very, very good. Uh, Marvin, excellent. Let's move on to the next person. I The next person on my list is uh, Manuel Alejandro. Uh, 
teacher. Hi. Uh, I did not connect, uh, connect yesterday. I have a problem uh, with my connection. Oh, okay. Okay. Pero, uh, creo que son las actividades del trabajo que está respondiendo, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Just talk, tell us, talk to us a little bit about what you normally do at, at work. Uh, the, first, the first activity uh, in my work, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, I I see the attendance to my to the to my personal. Uh, the second activity. Uh, before uh, I send the reports to my boss. Uh, uh, 10 p 9 p.m. Uh, eat my breakfast before uh, I have a meeting with my boss and co-workers in the department. Uh, the, other, the other activities, uh, uh, the balance, balance to the plan. And only that. Okay, very good, very good, Manuel um, Alejandro. I have a question. What time do you have breakfast? When, do you, have, when do you have breakfast? I don't understand, teacher. When do you have breakfast? Oh, yes. 9 a.m. Oh, okay, okay, good. I, I, I heard 9 p.m. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like, oh, he's, you're gonna have breakfast very soon. <laughs> okay. All I'm right. sorry. No problem. Okay. Um, and the other one is, um, you mentioned the word, uh, like in like in Spanish, personal, el personal. Okay. Um, be careful with this word because in English we have two words. Uh, you know, in Spanish it's just personal, right? Personal like algo que es personal o que es solamente mío y personal de, 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 um, de trabajadores, right? But in English, okay. we have two words, okay? The, um, so the first one is like this, personal, right? Que es algo personal, algo mío. And the other one is personnel. Personnel. Oh, personnel. Personnel. Um, so, déjeme ver. So, like, Seguramente se doble N o una N. Just give me a moment. Personal. Yeah, it's double N. Okay, so um, the other word is personnel, which is means the, the, the group of people. Okay, so uh, the, the, the employees, let's say, that's the personnel. Okay, so oh. the first one is per personal, the stress is on the first one, personal, and the, the other one is personnel. The stress is on the last one. Okay. 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 So very good. Excellent. All right, Hando. Okay. Thank you very much. And you did a very good job. I know that you, Thank you. you did it, um, you know, spontaneous, but it, that's even better because um, that's how we, in real life, that's how we, we talk, right? Spontaneously. We don't, um, we don't plan what we're going to say. We, we just, we're very spontaneous. So that's very good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, let's um, move on to the next person. Uh, I have here, uh, Luis. Luis, are you there? Hello, sorry teacher. I, oh, I am... okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, uh, First, uh, I 
arrives the, to the work at around eight o'clock. I normally, um, uh, at the morning, I have some meetings with uh, clients, suppliers, or a sales a executive. Um, then, um, um, normally, I I help to my subordinates we, when they <clears throat> have to do something or they need um, some uh, whatever, so, some things. Um, and normally, I take a uh, lunch um, at 12, uh, 12 and 30. And every day, I have a meeting, uh, a scheduled meeting with the the um, supervisor and the um, um, production manager, and in that meeting we we check uh, the things about the production shell, the uh, every machine program, and another things. Uh, what else? Uh, at the afternoon, normally I I have a uh, meetings. Every day I have around three, four, or five meetings with you know, different people. And then uh, I respond emails, I handle some issues. Um, what else? Um, I, at three, I take a coffee, a cup of coffee, and a sweet bread. And what else? Um, just that every day comes with uh, different things to do for, for in my job. Just that, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Very good, Luis, excellent. Okay, um, I'm going to, this is, I know this This is a word that, you know, it's not, it's, it's just, um, I guess we're, we're, we're not used to um, saying it, you know, in English, but I'm gonna have to, I have to stress this because the more we stress it, the, the more it will be easier to remember. It's remember it's production. Production, yes. Ah, production. Okay. I need to practice that. You know, it's it's one of those words that you know it is it is a little bit um, difficult because you're used to saying it in Spanish, right? Producción, yeah. producción, right? And so okay. that, that's why. But you know, you just have to train your brain to think in English and pronounce words differently in English, right? Okay. And the other the other thing is the following. How do we say like in Spanish we say um tomar el desayuno, tomar el almuerzo, tomar pan con café. Mm. How do you say you that in have a lunch. Yes, very good. Sorry, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's I, I forgot it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no, but it's okay. You know why? It's okay to make mistakes because the mistake that you make, it's not just your mistake. I'm, I'm absolutely positive that there's more than one person here that also feels the same way that, that probably will benefit a lot from, from this explanation. And they don't eat the teacher. Sorry, Margaret? <laughs> they don't eat. Oh, they, no, 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 no. I what I what I mean is that in English, um, it's fit. They are fit. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So they I do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. No, the thing is that um, I know, like in Spanish, you say a lot tomar, right? Tomar. Yes. You know, el almuerzo, el la cena, but in English, how do you say that? What's the verb? Right. Have. Okay, you have. can use have or and get. No. Take. No. 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 Have, uh, so you have you have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, or breakfast time. Eat. What was that, Reese? Eat. Yeah, or you eat, right? You eat mm -hmm. breakfast, you eat lunch, you eat dinner. So you can use one of the two verbs. You can say have lunch or eat lunch. Eat lunch. Okay? okay. All right. But not take lunch. Okay. okay? We can't okay. use the verb take. 
that's definitely um, not a possibility. And the same thing with, with beverages like coffee. Okay, you don't take coffee. We, take coffee, okay. Drink. What do we do with coffee? To drink coffee? Drink. We drink coffee or we? Mm, I don't know, eat too? No. no. Take coffee. No, how? Drink coffee. Have a cup of coffee. Okay, or we have, okay, we, we either drink coffee or we have coffee. Okay. okay, so one of the two, have or take. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's say confundiendo. Uh, I mean, have or, or drink. Eat. Uh, no, for the or, case or, of, of, of uh, coffee, right? Uh, any, okay any, any type of beverage, coffee, water, uh, soda, uh, tea, beer. you know, it's going to be have or have or or drink, drink. but not take okay. okay okay just Thank just you. keep that in mind okay all right okay teacher. Well, teacher. thank you very much yes yeah i have a question mm -hmm. if you are talking about time mm -hmm. uh, how do you say when do you need to uh, tomar tiempo o sea, uh, por ejemplo, oh, yes. tomar cinco minutos? Yes, I, I, I'm going to take five minutes, for example. Yeah, that's fine. You can take five minutes. Ah, okay. I, I'm going to take five minutes, something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Yeah, it's just, it's just with, with food and beverages that we don't use take. Okay. Okay, I got right. it. Okay, well, thank you very, very much. Uh, it's excellent. Okay, um, let's move to the next person. And on my list, the next person is Melissa. Is Melissa with us? I don't think so, right? She's not here. She's not here. Okay. Carla. You ready, Carla? Hello, teacher. I didn't connect to the class, but I tried. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um... It's about share um, personal information in the work. That's right. It's about what are your normal activities at your workplace? What do you do on a on a on a regular day? Okay. For example, I I wake up uh, very uh, early at um, five a.m. And I start work at 7 a.m. And I finish work at 5 p.m. At then at, at 8 a.m. I take, um, I eat my breakfast. And, and at 10 a.m. I start to organize all the employees and the positions they are going to uh, make their activities. And, and, and this time uh, I send emails, I call to my boss, I send reports about the sales and, and at noon, it's es mediodía, verdad? At noon. Hello. Yes. Hello. That's correct. Yes. Okay. At noon, I supervise all the customer uh, service, and and I eat my uh, lunch at three p.m. and that's all. <laughs> wonderful thank you very much carla excellent very good okay and you know what um i love the fact that you self-corrected your um so you were about to make the same mistake but then you remembered oh the explanation i just heard and you corrected it right which is wonderful that's that's exactly what we're supposed to do and that's what i was telling um luis you know um the explanation of the of the correction um, that he made 
is going to help the rest of you, right? So this is very good. This is exactly what I mean, right? You, you hear, you remember, and then you don't make the same mistakes. Very good. Excellent, Carla. Thank you Thank very you much. Time. Okay, let's move on. The next person I have on my list is uh, Jerry. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about my skill. I work uh, from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The first thing that I do is open my email every day. Uh, and next, when I finish to check my email, I open the server to check if all the activities or all tasks on that server were, were processed correctly. And sometimes I found error. In that case, I put on a ticket to support someone else support me in different tasks, like uh, when when it's a problem uh, with a server, uh, with the hardware, with the software, or with a um, database, depending on what what, is the, what kind of problem I have. And next, I, I take a break at the 1 p.m. If I have the um, other thing that I, when I finish to read the, the, the email, I find the new requirements that I have. And if I have a doubt about something, I call or send an email at the users to, to, to explain me what, what they want because sometimes they didn't, they don't explain me correctly or they are really simple the way they, they explain the things. Um, um, when I finish the requirement, requirement, I send an email to notify the user that the requirement is end, ended. And I expect that they receive, they, they, then they, they gave me feedback about the solution. And this is my scale. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good, Jerry. Very good. Okay, question, Jerry, could you uh, repeat this word? How do you pronounce this word, the one that I wrote in the chat? I'm sorry, uh, process. Okay, good, very good, yeah. I just wanted to make sure, I wasn't sure if you had um, said it correctly. Um, it's just make sure that the, the um, the stress is on the first syllable. So it's process, not process, process. but it's process, the first syllable. Okay, very good. Process. And uh, okay. the word is schedule. Sk schedule. Schedule. Yes, exactly. Schedule. Okay. Okay. So the, the, the CH sounds like a K, like, like school, right? school so schedule think about think about school schedule it's a, the the first letters are the same s c h okay 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 Very thank you teacher good. you're welcome jerry okay good on my list the next person is um juan francisco Okay. Um, I work. I work from six a.m. to six p.m. But I had to arrive a uh, quarter to six. And I clean the control room during uh, that from seven a.m. to eight a.m. With my life and coronavirus protocol, um, my core worker tell me about the file or something new that he had uh, his shift at 6 a.m. 
normally I had my lunch at 11 a.m. because I can leave the plant for a long time. Uh, I go to my home at 10 past 6 p.m. Only that. Okay, very, very good, Juan Francisco. Excellent. Okay. Um, could you pronounce this word for me? Yeah. Um, it's, well, it, yeah, it's close. It's protocol. Proto. 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 Protocol. The the T protocol. sounds like an R, right? Like so it's proto, protocol. Okay, protocol. And protocol. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, you said that you can't leave where? At the end, at the end of the presentation, you said I can't leave. What did you say? I can't leave. Uh, uh, I can I can I can leave the plant for a long time. Okay. Uh, um I think you mean the floor, right? Or the department. Yeah? No puedo irme de la planta. Por mucho tiempo. Uh -huh. Okay, so in that case it's the floor. The floor or the department. Uh, the floor. Uh, or department. I can't let the floor for a long time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. okay, very good. Excellent, Juan Francisco. Okay. All right. Next on my list is Josue. Well, I start to work at 6 a.m. First, I fulfill a sanitizing report. Then I check the environment dosimeters and take a doses to create a report. I Every day, I check my email to 6, 6.30 and take a breakfast at 7. After that, check the HSVM and remove, remove the control to replace the battery. I uh, use my password and username to prepare the scanner to work. Then I have to check the service in commit and review the parameters. Uh, I have a lunch to 12 p.m. and I I shall to write uh, some parameters uh, in a log, and I finish my activities at 2 p.m. Okay, very good, excellent, Josue. Okay, um, what 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 do you do with your breakfast? I have a lunch or breakfast at seven. You mentioned breakfast. What do you do with the breakfast? What what, what do you do with breakfast? I have a, I take a breakfast. You take breakfast? Or you have breakfast? <laughs> I have a breakfast. Yes. Okay, good, yes. You have breakfast, very good. Uh-huh, very good. Okay, um, the other thing is, um, you said that you check the HDMI. HCBM, the scanner. Oh, oh HCBM, you said. Yeah, HCBM. Yeah, I just, I, I think I heard, I heard the, the, the word, the letters in Spanish. So I just went to <laughs> Yeah, it. yeah, I, I used that. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, good. And the other one is, um, it, it's, this, the pronunciation is very, very similar to Spanish, but just be careful. Um, it's parameters, not parameters, but it's 
parameters. Para parameters. Parameters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, though. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, Josue. Very good. You're welcome. Um, all right, great. So the next person on my list is um, let's see, Johnny is not here, so that would be Ivan. Me. Great. Well, well, in my case, most of my days are quite busy. I start my working days at 7 a.m. The first thing I do is to check that the files from the data servers are in my inbox. Then I up update my daily reports and send them to the report users. Every Monday we have about three or four meetings in the morning. One of them is very particularly because it's in English um, come with some people from India. The accent is quite particular when they speak. Uh, Sometimes I, uh, I can understand what they say. Every week I pre prepare, prepare a presentation for a task force with the president of the bank and other directors. My boss does the review of the data with our direct director and me. All days, all days as the same. They are always different. Suddenly my boss asked me for a, some new report to know the status of delinquency of clients. Sometimes I have to develop direct marketing campaign to help the, the sales staff um, increase sales so they can reach the, their goals. Every week we have a meeting we call the collection table in which we review strategies or strategies to decrease the long losses. I usually end up the office around 7 and 30 p.m. So I can home quickly to learn this class. And These uh, my regular days are like that. Um, by the way, I am a human. I eat my breakfast at 6, 30 a.m. I, uh, I launch um, at the one o'clock. Meanwhile, I'm still working, eat, working, eat, working. Um, while still working during the day, I drink about three or four cups of coffee. Um, a month ago, one coworker of my team left the, the bank and go to another. And only my boss and, and I, uh, and, mm, mm, keep the, the ship floating. <laughs> Meanwhile, our, the new high come comes to our bank, and that's all the my regular days. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much, Ivan and Bravo. Very good. Okay. Um, very good. Ivan, what do you do with, could you tell me what do you do with lunch? Um, repeat me the, the question again, please. What is the verb that you use with lunch? 
Um, pero lunch, lunch, lunch at one. Uh -huh, but what, what what is the verb? The verb, like. Um, I not so sure about if it take my lunch or I have lunch. Okay. It's so confused for me. Right. You have lunch or you eat lunch. I eat lunch. You do not take lunch. Okay. And the other thing is that lunch is a noun, not a verb. So you cannot say, I lunch at 12. Okay. You cannot say. It's not like in Spanish, yo almuerzo. No, you don't say that. You say, in, in English, we say, I have lunch or I eat lunch at oh, 12. Okay, okay. So, so remember to use the verb have or eat. Okay? Thanks, All right. Thanks teacher. Good. You're welcome. The other one, is, I so just the practice of the word, status status okay okay status so it's not status it's status status yeah the word in the okay. chat okay status, status. okay status. and i think you pronounced this word strategies strategies no strategies 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 strategies, strategies. okay yeah very good well so you have you have meetings or classes with uh indian uh with indian people meetings meetings all monday meetings all morning all mondays in the morning that's interesting, but that's good for you. It's good that you have you have exposure to different accents, right? Because it is a different accent, yeah, definitely. Yes. You know, but everybody has an accent. Everybody, everybody in the world has an accent, right? It's just that, um, yeah, the the Indian accent is a little stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, Ivan. Excellent. Thanks. All right, on my list. Oh, but sorry. Okay, before I continue, um, I'm going to take a small break to take attendance. Okay, so let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. All right, Edgar. Present teacher. All right. Present. Uh, excellent. Uh, Janet? Yeah. Sorry? Did, did I hear you, Janet? Um, Janet? I guess she, something happened to her. Oh, there she is. Sorry, me Sorry. It happens. Okay, so we know you're here. Okay. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Um, by the way, Fabiola, eh, ¿cómo se siente bien para poder presentar? Sí, teacher. Sí, okay, all right, okay, good. Um, eh, Heidi? Present teacher. All right, very good. Irene? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Johnny is not here. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, Carla. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Melissa. 
Melissa, no? Okay. Uh, Luis? Luis? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay, Marvin? Present teacher. All right, great. Uh, Wendy? Wendy? No? Okay, Warner? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Francisco? Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier? Uh, Francisco, are you there? Are you having trouble with your internet? I think he might be having trouble with the internet. Because I can see him, but looks like he's frozen. Okay, and Jenny? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we will continue with uh, the groups here. Um, so we just finished here in Ivan. Next would be Irene. Irene? Hello. Hello. Uh, can you continue there with the presentation? Yes, of course. Okay. And good evening, my friends. I'm going to talk about my daily activities at work. First, I start to work at 6, 50, 50 every day. And then I clean my workplace area. Then I make uh, my agent about my daily activities to do during the day. Then I attend different meetings about the people from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So what my position is a human resources coordinator and I'm solving different situation with the person, right? At 9, 10 a.m., I to congratulate different persons who are celebrating their birthday. And then I'm going to eat my, my breakfast at 9, 30, approximately. And then I um, go to from 10, approximately 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm going to prepare different, different videos for the people because when they are eating their lunch, they are watching different videos about the activities of the company. Then I go to eat my lunch at 12 sometimes, from 12 sometimes. And in the afternoon, always I'm trying to resolve different problems with a person and I'm try I'm organizing a different motivational events, for example, the Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthday celebration, something like that. Only that. Okay, very good, Irene. Excellent. Okay. 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 Um, so the word is a Approximately. 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 Yes. Okay. So the stress is on the second syllable. Approximately. Approximately. Yes. Already, okay. already in the chat. Okay. Okay. So approximately. Approximately. Has a, approximately. 
has five syllables. And the second one is the one that's stressed. Approximately. 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 Okay. Okay. And the other word is organize. Organize. Yes, organize. Okay. Organize. It's not organize. It's not organize. It's organize. The stress is on the first level. Organize. Organize. Yes. Yeah. Organize. It's not organize it. It's organize. Okay. Organize. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good, good, good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next person on my list, which would be Heidi. Okay. Um, since I'm on vacation, so I, this is a homework that I didn't want to do. <laughs> but I'm okay. ready. Sorry. Heidi, by the way, okay. do, you have, uh, do you have your camera around? I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, teacher. All right, no problem. Okay. Um, I start my day I, at 8.30 with, um, with the staff meeting to, to set daily goals and track uh, progress of commercial, of commercial goals. Um, and then I monitor or track portfolio of assets and liabilities variations and negotiate rates of time deposits, join managers meeting or calls, um, also track account balances, track business goals, serve customers that have any complaint and answer or send emails or requests, uh, qualify normality of banking operations, uh, make sure also that everyone in the branch is providing the best service to our customers, uh, send daily sales reports, and there are a lot of activities, but um, these ones are the most common. We don't usually follow the same order, but, and that's it. Okay, very good. So um, when you said that they don't, you don't follow the same order, um what can change for example when a customer asked to talk to me it could be any time in during the day okay 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 the the only activity is the 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 daily reunion the start of the day meeting with the staff always at 8 30. okay reunion or meeting uh, it's a reunion. It's a reunion? What's the difference? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, okay, anybody know the difference between reunion and meeting? Please explain it. Nobody knows? No? Okay. No. All right. So um, reunion has more of the idea of having people that were separated for a long time finally come together, okay? So you can have like a family reunion where, you know, maybe you, you know, you make a like a kind of like a, let's say a, sun, a, a Sunday lunch, um, and you get all of the family together, right? So family li that lives in different, in, in different um, houses, they get together in the same place. Or you can have a high school reunion. High school reunion is a special party that you organize where um, people that went to school in the same high school have not seen each other for a long time. They come to that, um, to that party and they see each other, you know, after many, many years, right? Or anything like that. So basically reunion has the idea of having people that were separated for a long time 
come back together again. That's reunion. And meeting is simply, you know, something uh, that you would do like at, at work, right? Um, to talk to a group of people about a certain topic. Okay, does that make sense? Makes sense. Then I was talking about a meeting, right? Oh, uh -huh. okay, good, yeah. I thought so, yeah, so a meeting. Okay, good, excellent. All right, um, good, thank you very much, Haiti, excellent. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next person, which, um, according to my list, is Fabiola. Okay. <clears throat> I gave to my work some time, six half past. Then we had breakfast with my partners. After we go to different place, depending on the day. My partner drive, we take orders, we collect bills. I take a stop of liquor some time. Then when I arrive in the afternoon at four, um, I arrive at my home uh, six, no, five o'clock. Yeah, only that. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Excellent, thank you very much, um, Fabiola, excellent. Okay. okay, did you say you collect? You collect. Collect something? Well, what do you collect? Bills. Pills. Bills. Mm -hmm. Oh, bills. Bills. Okay. Bills. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So it's collect. And you mentioned something about liquor? See? Si. Yes. What, what, what did you say about the liquor? I didn't understand. Um, uh, take, I stop, como inventario. Oh, okay. So you, uh, mm -hmm. okay. So you do the invent the inventory for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I heard you said stock, and uh, but mm -hmm. I heard you stop, and I yeah, you know, I said maybe stop. she stops. To have liquor. <laughs> so I said, wow. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. All right. So now it makes a lot more sense. Okay. Thank you very much. Love you. Okay, Excellent. You Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Um, great. Let's move on to the next person. According to my list, we have Janet. Okay. Teacher. Um, I start my work at 8 a.m. I start by checking my emails. I make calls to clients. I request price from manufacturers in order to prepare offers. And I have, um, I have, I have uh, my lunch or I have a lunch at, um, 12 p.m. Um, I have to send a daily email with my activities to my boss. I finish my activities at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Only that teacher. Okay, very, very good, excellent, bravo. What, what time did you start work, did you say? Um, 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., okay. At okay. 8 a.m. So you go from 8 to 5, right? You start at 8 in the morning and you go on until 5. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. And you have one hour of lunch? Yes. Ah. One hour one hour okay all right sounds good excellent thank you very much um Janet. Thank you. bravo okay good and next on the list is edgar 
<clears throat> Hi. Uh, okay. Okay, teacher. Um, in my case, is a, a, a typical business day begins at eight eight o'clock a.m. at the office. I feel I first make a, a checklist of the activities with which uh, delivery roads came out in all the distribution centers draw out the country. If there are a news, I start by solving and prioritizing the activities. Then I check the shallows of my meeting and make time to attend them. I review and follow up on the projects of the of the week to have a discussions to report it a meeting until on 12, 12 o'clock MD. Later in the afternoon, in according to my work plan, I travel to one uh, of the distribu distribution distri distribu distributors of uh, distribute distributor for a visit of the day. I I also follow up on the sales and liquidations process of the distribu distribution route until eight o'clock p.m. It's all in one work day. Very good, excellent, very, very good. Okay, all right. So the word, um, this word here, could you pronounce it for me? Um, on, 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 until, until. Okay, um, all right. Now, this word has two syllables. The way you're pronouncing it, you're, you're stressing the first syllable, until, but it's until. This is on the second syllable. Until. until. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's on the oh. second syllable. And okay. the other until. word I heard is um, discussion. Not discussion, discussion. Ah, discussion, okay. Discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you, okay. thank you. That, and that, it's, that's, this discussion. Disca, disca. Pronunciation. Disca, discussion. discussion. Okay. Yeah. And it's okay. distributors. Thank you. Distributors. Distributors. Oh. It's distributors. distributors. Okay. Okay. Not distributors. It's distributors. Distributors. Okay. And re repeat, please, teacher. Distributor. <laughs> Distri. That's on the second syllable. Distributor. Distributor. Distri. Distributor. Okay. Distributor. Distri. Four syllables. Distributors. Right. This. So you want to do the second syllable. Distributors. Distributors. Okay. Distributors. Okay. Distributors. Distributors. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yes distributors. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much. Edgar. Excellent. All right. And next uh, on Thank our, you. you're welcome. And next would be Andres. Okay, teacher. We arrive 15 or 10 minutes before 8 a.m. We have to check the entry. We start to work at 8 a.m. In a regular day, I have different things to do, like send documents, check email, make reports, make and receive calls. We work from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And then we have one hour for lunch. And we start to work again from 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. PM, we have to check the exit and we go home. Very good, Andres, excellent. Bravo, very, very good. 
Okay, okay. thanks, yeah. teacher. Excellent. Okay, and last but not least, we have Ana Claudia. What a big responsibility to collect. <laughs> All the corrections you made to my classmate, my good. Oh no! <laughs> okay, uh, my shift starts at seven a.m. to five p.m. Uh, on a daily basis. Uh, there are mm, different days, like today. It depends. Uh, on the customers today, I've been assisting a customer until 6.30 p.m. And, but it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Uh, regularly, I have two weeks, two meetings, uh, two meetings. Uh, I have one at 8 a.m. with my manager or my colleagues and my manager. And we discuss uh, about the activities, how the revenue is growing up, if we have issues placing order, stuff like that. Uh, during my shift, I call 75, I make 75 calls before 4 p.m. Also, uh, during my shift, I send 45 emails. At the same time, I need to look for sales. And in one day specifically, uh, on Wednesday at 10.30 a.m., we have a global meeting. Uh, so we have a meeting with people that is in Philippines, in US, and also in Pakistan. And yes, most of the time the host is a Pakistani person and sometimes I lose the connection in what understand what they say because sometimes they use so different words, but it's okay. We need to get used to it. And uh, then um, before my shift ends, I have a meeting at 4 p.m. again with my colleagues and my manager. We review what uh, we been doing during the day, if we achieve our revenue goals, or if we achieve or complete all the um, emails and calls. And also, well, uh, I have two breaks, 15 minutes breaks. One, I can take it at a.m. before having lunch. And the other one uh, can be p.m. Uh, before le uh, leaving the shift. Uh, Regularly, I eat lunch at 2.30 or 3 p.m. I don't have a break. I don't have a, a time specifically for breakfast like my <laughs> classmate. I just have one hour lunch. And basically, uh, we move uh, in between incoming calls or making outbound calls. That is regular. What I what I do. Okay, very good, and I thought, yeah, excellent. Okay, um, you mentioned something about revenues that you have yes. to see, see if the revenues. Revenue. Uh -huh. Daily revenue. Uh -huh. But what what happens to the revenues that they have to? Oh, I, I need to get revenue every day. I need to make sales because I need to accomplish my goal. Yeah, and you wanted to see if you you said something about I think about checking if the revenues had. Oh yes, uh, the meeting in the afternoon meeting. No, it we, was mentioned at the beginning. Uh the first uh, meeting in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh we take a look if we have pending orders. Uh, we summarize our daily sales and. We review if we are close to achieve the goals. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and you mentioned something about, like uh, you said, if the revenues um, como que están creciendo, right? How do you say that in English? Uh, if I get revenue, I, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> okay. well, how, how do you, how do you, how do you ah. Growing? Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, the thing is that you you mentioned the word grow up. Ah, yes, and yes, you that? say that we, we don't use grow up, just grow. Why? Because grow up is used for uh, persons, person that is getting older. Mm -hmm. And just grow is when we're talking about different things. Right. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. And so so um, <laughs> grow up means to get older or uh -huh. to be more mature, right? So just be careful with that. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Grow. So, or I can use instead the word, the verb increase. Yeah. Probably that's uh, if you okay. just to avoid getting mixed up. Yes, you can say. Ah, okay. Yeah. Teacher, and I have a doubt, a, a doubt a, with the word collect. I don't remember who used it. Is this word most commonly used for financial aspects? Collect? Because I heard is sometimes the customers, they, the billing department needs to call them to collect. They say, I don't know if it's used for. Yeah, collect means um, that you, um, that you're calling or you're, you're asking the person, okay, I need you to pay. Mm. That's what it means to collect. Ah, okay, okay, thank okay, you. Okay, so the collection department, right? That's mm -hmm. uh, the department that calls people to say, okay, it's time to pay up, how are you gonna pay? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, most commonly used for financial things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, very good. All right, guys, thank you very much. Um, wonderful, very good presentations. And if you notice towards the end, of the presentations, uh, I didn't have to correct very much. And it was simply because you were putting into practice all of the things that I had mentioned before, which makes it easier for everybody to um, speak clear, right, and correctly. So that's very good. That's the purpose of this, right? To do it as a group so that we can all learn together, okay? All right, guys, excellent. So now what we're gonna do, now that we've had the opportunity of uh, presenting, let's move on to the next part, the conversation, and let's discuss two questions. The first question is, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? What do you think? I, I want, you can open up your microphone and tell me, what, what do you think? What strategy would be a good way to, for uh, restaurants to get more clients? Good, good service. Good service. Okay. Discounts. <laughs> Discounts. Okay, good. What else? Good quality of the food. Okay, good food, right? Mm -hmm. Clean installation. Oh, this restaurant is clean. Sorry, could you repeat that again, Ivan? Uh, there the restaurant cleans. Oh, having clean restaurants, okay, all right. Yes, clean restaurant. Right. What else? Park, parking for the customer. Okay, good, par okay, so in making sure you have enough parking for the customers, good, what else? Good compost. Good, good, good yeah. Promotion. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So I, I can't hear you very well, Ivan. Can you repeat that? Good combo. Good combo, combination of two or more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so compliments there for the food, okay. All right, very good. My next question is, what are some successful restaurants that you know? restaurants are successful pizza hut pizza hut pizza hut mcdonald's McDonald's. burger king burger. Pollo campero Pollo wendy's, wendy's. <laughs> only fast food <laughs> <laughs> yes come on what yeah, what, what restaurants that are maybe not fast food? La Bodega Italiana. La I Bodega Italiana. Mm -hmm. Anything else? 
the Pampa Argentina. Okay, La Pampa Argentina. Hacienda Real. Hacienda Real. The Choris. Very <laughs> 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 healthy. <laughs> yes, very, very healthy. Okay. Um, what other restaurants? Lomo y Aguja. Lomo y Aguja. Cebollines. O Cebollines. Dynasty. Dynasty. All right. Good. Excellent. Um, Benny Hanna. Yeah. Tony Romas, too. Tony Romas. Sushiito. Sushiito. Okay. Very good. All right. So those are, you, you guys know what it means to be a successful restaurant. Good. What we're going to do now is um, we're going to be reading the conversation between Mr. Mott and Jennifer. Okay. All right, so I'm going to need volunteers to be Mr. Mott and Jennifer. Who would help me? Me, teacher. Oh, me, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, so how about if Marvin is Mr. Mott and Jen and Jenny will be Jennifer? Okay. Marvin, you, it's better for you to be Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you All right, let's start. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How well is she, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of the people who come in a regular basis. That's a good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sirs. How often do we change the menu? Well, we send the change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, thank you very much, Marvin and Jenny. Bravo. Teacher. Yes. How is that pronunciation? Promoting, promoting, promote. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay, all right. Let's start with let's start with the pronunciation then. Okay. So you want to know this word right here. Okay. What are the words do you guys want to know for pronunciation? So we do all to, all of it together. Um, I'm okay. always have a doubt with it. Dessert or dessert? Ah, okay. Very good question. Okay, we'll talk about that. What else? I was going to ask the same. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, there you go. You have the same same idea. Anything else? This pronunciation. By the way, um, Ivan, the, the, word, the word that you wrote, is that for pronunciation or for vocabulary? Both. Both. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, right now, just pronunciation, guys. So, just letting just letting you guys know. Um, I'm trying to identify where the other ones are. I don't know why. Okay, so we have. However, um, Okay. All right, I think those are the words so far. Okay, so let's start with the first one. This is basis. Okay, repeat after me, basis. 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 Good. Excellent. Strategies. 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 Good. Strategy. Seldom. 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 
however. 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 Promoting. 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 Dessert. 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 I'm going dessert. to stop there for a moment with the word dessert because I'm going to explain the difference between the two words that you're getting confused with. Okay. So this is dessert and this is dessert. Dessert. Okay. So um, just to make sure that you don't get them confused. This is um, dessert. 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 on the second syllable. Dessert. 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 So dessert. 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 Okay, dessert, dessert. It's on the second syllable. Now, if you notice, one of them is with a double S. Double S, and the other one is with only one S. Now, how can you remember? How can you remember um, that which one is which? Well, think of it like this. I This is how I, I teach it. Think about your favorite dessert, okay? So, uh, Anna Claudia, you were asking about this word. So let, let me ask you, what is your favorite dessert? Mm, ice cream. Okay, ice cream. All right, wonderful. So you have, you, what was your favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, strawberry. <laughs> strawberry, okay. So you have a strawberry ice cream. They give you a serving of the most delicious strawberry ice cream. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. so good. What do you want? You want a second mm -hmm. serving, right? Okay. They, they offer you more and you say, yeah, I want more, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So when you have your favorite dessert, you don't want one serving. You want two servings. Okay. So okay. that's why we have a double S. Okay. So remember uh -huh. that double S because you want two servings, not just one. Oh, easy to remember in that way. Uh huh. Okay. And then the desert, it only has one. Okay. Only one S. All right. And that's okay. on the first syllable. Okay. Okay. All thank right? you. Okay. And the, the, the other way that you can remember the pronunciation is that dessert has two S's. So the stress is on the second syllable. Ah, okay. And desert only has one S, and the stress is on the first syllable. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right. Let's talk about vocabulary now. Tell me what vocabulary words do not understand. Uh -huh. You can write in the chat so it's easier for me to identify the word. Seldom. Seldom. Okay. Let's, let's do a double there. Okay. What else? No. Okay. No oh, uh, basis. Actually, it should be regular basis. That's the, the complete idea is regular basis. Um, what else? Okay, is that it? Okay, all right. So we have regular basis on a regular. Teacher. Yeah. Sorry. Um, item for the pronunciation, please. Oh. Item or item. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Okay. Well, I'll start then with the pronunciation because that's what we're we were just finishing. So this word is pronounced item. 
item. I, item. 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 Okay, not item. It's I, like I. Mm -hmm. Item. Okay. All right. Now, regular basis means like on a const a constant time. Like it's not it's not just like occasionally. It's like not necessarily every day, but constantly. That's a regular basis. So there's there's a regularity to it, right? It's not something that is, uh, you know, one time here and then, woo, like years later, another time. No, it's something that's very constant. It could be like maybe, I don't know, uh, every week. Um, it could be every, um, every day. It could be three times a week, but it's something that's constant, okay? The word strategies is, uh, um, it's what we call a cognate. It's a word that is very similar to Spanish. So what word is similar to Spanish? Strategia. Strategia, Strategia right? So uh, we, well, this word here is, so we pronounce it strategies. Strategies, right? And that's what it means. It means like, uh, basically, um, let's say like a plan, right? A, a plan um, that you that you have in order to achieve a goal, right? Okay, so something that you some some sort of trick that you um, that you have in order to achieve the goal. That's a strategy. Okay, the word seldom means. It's very similar to rarely. Okay. Rarely. Do you guys remember the word rarely? Raramente or rara vez. Yeah. Rara vez, okay, so seldom. Okay. So it means something that happens, but it, it does happen, but it's like maybe 5% of the time. So almost nothing, almost zero, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay, excellent. Um, and I think that's it. I think those are all the words. Okay, very good. So now that we've talked about that, let me ask you some questions. Now we now we now that we know the conversation. Um, so, first question: What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? From what you can from what you can see. From the conversation, what kind of restaurant do you think it is? Uh, fast food. A fast food restaurant? No, I don't think so. I think it's a restaurant like uh, most formal restaurant that they rarely offer. I promise. Uh, uh -huh. That's why I thought it was a fast food because the, she is suggested to give a promotional item. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Could yes, you... they have like specific combos, right? You... When it says, how often do we change the menu? Mm -hmm. um... It's not fast food. Okay. Now, in, in, in a fast food restaurant, would we be promoting a dessert every week? I don't think so. Probably not, right? Probably in a fast food restaurant, you wouldn't be promoting a dessert every week. Probably you would you would be um, having a promotion that lasts for a period of time, but not every week. Like it's not like every week there's a new new dessert. Does that make sense? Yes. No. 
little bit. Guys? Mm -hmm. No. No? Does it make sense? Okay. Um, so if you notice in a fast food restaurant, let's take, I don't know, let's take uh, McDonald's for as an example. So they're in a fast food restaurant, they're going to say, okay, we have this promotion for this dessert, but they have it for a period of time. Just for something that you know is just going to be, it's going to last for a period of time and you have to make sure that you get the, the promotion quickly because if you don't, it's gonna pass. So maybe they, they, they have the promotion for a few days or they have it for a few weeks, but you never know when the promotion is gonna finish, right? Or you know, okay, it's starting from this time to this time, right? And that's it, it goes away. But here it sounds like Jennifer is talking about uh, a promotion that is, that is constant. Every week, the clients know there is a new dessert that's on promotion. So they know, okay, oh, let's, let's, see, let's see what happens this week. And so they go back to the restaurant to find out what is the new dessert. Whereas in a fast food restaurant, they would be more like, okay, let's get it now because we don't, we don't know when this promotion is going to finish. Mm. Does that make sense, Francisco? Yeah? Okay. All right, good. Okay, next, my next question is, what are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Change the, change the menu. Okay. Changing the menu could be a, a could be an idea. Mm -hmm. What else? Moving uh desserts. Uh, desserts. Dessert. 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 Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, promoting a new dessert, right? Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Um Okay, so now that we have had a chance to read this conversation, you will notice that we have these words in bold, often, mm -hmm. seldom, and never. What do you call those words? What kind of words are those? Frequency. The next is, it says adverse of frequency <laughs> in the yeah, next page. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. And this is actually called adverse of frequency. What are adverse of frequency? These are, these are uh, words that modify the verb. They give us information about the verb. We specifically, they tell us how frequent or how often something happens, okay? So adverse of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. And the adverbs of frequency that we're going to be learning or we're going to be using today are always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Do we understand all of these words? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, uh, teacher, I'm sorry. With hardly ever is something like rarely? Yeah, hardly ever is very, hardly ever is um, similar to rarely, but I would say that rarely is less. Mm, ah, okay. Okay. Hardly um, ever is almost never teacher. Mm-hmm. Same thing with seldom and rarely. So these are like synonyms. These words here. Hardly ever is like casi nunca. Uh-huh, right. 
So these three are very similar in meaning. Seldom, rarely, and hardly ever. Okay. Okay. They they all mean that they 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 take place. It does happen, but the frequency of the activity is very little. You know, somewhere around five percent to I don't know, tw like fifteen percent, twenty fifteen twenty percent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So I would say uh, rarely is first, then goes hardly ever, and then goes seldom. Okay. So seldom means it happens, but it's, you know, very few times. Okay. Example of this, we say we often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. So if you have noticed, we are using the, the frequency adverb. Sure. Uh-huh. Um, are seldom, hardly ever, and rarely the same thing or there's a difference between them? Small difference. There is a difference, but it's small. Like I said, I would say rarely it's like down here, hardly ever, seldom. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, but they, they are almost synonyms. Almost the same. Mm -hmm. and about the usage, uh, there's no restriction. They can be used the, the same way. All okay. of frequency adverbs like often, always, regularly. If you notice, they come after the verb. Sorry, the subject. After the subject. So we often, we always, they regularly. Okay. And then mm -hmm. after that comes the, the verb. So mm -hmm. We often change. We always give away. Uh, they regularly select. Okay. So first, so don't forget that. Okay. The the order is first the subject, right? Like we, then or they, then the adverb frequency, and then the verb. Okay. So I'll write it down. So it's subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb. Just give me a second, guys. Just give me one second. Okay.
Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Um, okay, so we have um, the verb in the base form. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, no, no, sorry. The verb in the simple present. All right, we're just gonna put simple present. Okay. And then if we need it, we will have the complement. Okay. And it's not like I said, it's only if needed. Okay, so we don't need to have it. Okay, so that's the structure. Do you guys have any questions? No? Oh. You sure? Yes, it's okay. Uh, but they can be used in other in other times, right? Not just simple present. No. It's in the simple present. Only simple present. Only simple present. Yes. Yes. And that, that's why what we learned yesterday is very helpful because if you remember what we learned yesterday, then we build up, right? So it has to be with the, so whenever you have, this is, whenever you have an adverb of frequency, you have to use simple present. Okay. Because we're talking about something that is off, that is like a, a like a routine. And with routines, we use simple present. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, guys, so let's leave this for homework. Write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. Use, uh, use the following adverbs of frequency to state how often you do those activities. So the activities are these. Uh, sorry, sorry, not the activities, the verbs, the, sorry, the adverbs of frequency. Always, rarely, hardly ever, seldom, sometimes never. So I want you to write six sentences in total, things that you do at your workplace, okay? So you can say, I always, I rarely, I hardly ever, I seldom, I sometimes, I never, okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Anything? Yes, else? Any questions that you guys want to ask? No. No. Okay. All right. So that's going to be for homework, and um, let's take attendance before I let you go. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Okay. Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Great. Fabiola? Present. Okay, wonderful. Um, Haiti? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. All right. Ivan? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Johnny? It's not here. Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Um, jury. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Melissa. No. Uh, Ernesto. Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy. Okay, uh, Warner. Present teacher. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Francisco. Present. Jenny. 
Present. Okay, great. Okay, guys, well, that is going to be all for today. Um, I remember, don't forget to do the homework, what I just assigned you right now. And the person that I have listed for today is Haiti. So Haiti, will you be staying for uh, the tutoring? Yeah, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so that will be it for everybody. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank Good you, night, teacher. Everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, Warner. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay, Haiti. Okay, teacher. I just wanted to say sorry because I didn't attend about three days. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem. Um, everything okay? Yeah, we went to the beach with my husband and my family and some friends. Okay, so definitely okay. Yeah, uh, the, I told you, right, that we um, climbed the Santa Ana's volcano. Wow. And, and you can't imagine my skin. Oh, not, wow. I was wearing a colita, and look. <laughs> wow. My goodness. But did you, did you get uh, sunburned or something? Uh, uh, at the beach, I did, but uh, the volcano, I forgot. Oh, no, but did you get sunburned? Sunburned? Uh, yeah, I, I got sunburned. Ah, okay. Sorry to hear that. I, I just wanted to ask about, about um, the frequency adverb of these ones that we are studying now. Mm -hmm. uh, how about because of the time, only on simple present, but how would you say um, nosotros siempre habíamos ofrecido? We had always offered. Mm -hmm. And then we can use it in another time. Um, yes, but normally with the frequency, normally with the frequency adverbs, we're going to be using it um, as simple in the simple present because simple present talk is um, indicating routine. And the only reason why we use it there is because had always, uh, we had always offered that also indicates routine. A past routine. Yeah, a past routine. Mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's because it uh, the the frequency adverb always indicates routine. Okay, so it's either routine in the present or it could be routine in the past. But most of the time, like I would say, like. 85% of the time, or probably even 90% of the time, you will see frequency adverbs with simple present. Okay, okay, teacher. That's all. Cool. Okay. All right, anything else? Oh, no, I'm okay. So, okay. good night, and I, I, I still love your classes. You are the only one who gets the time to explain to us and, and, and listens to us and corrects us. And that helps a lot, believe me. And wow. I really appreciate it, okay? You're a great teacher. I'm glad I can help you, Adi. That's that's what I'm here for, you know, to be able to help you as, as much as possible. Okay, and if you have anything that you wanna, um, you know, you wanna do something you wanna work on, you know, feel free to, add, to, to tell me, um, give me any suggestions and we'll see if we can incorporate it. Okay, teacher, thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome, Haiti. Take care and have a good a good evening. Thank you, good evening, teacher. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.